Quando Rondo, a couple, I think it was last week or, or so ago, Quando Rondo was bragging that the nerds was up seven bodies. Quando Rondo was going back and forth with Little Dirk, where he says the nerds is up seven of them things after Little Dirk. Uh, says that nerds is not supposed to body real gangsters, all right? He says, well, the nerds is up seven of them things. It leads everybody to believe that you're talking about bodies, champ. And y'all do this for clout. Y'all do this in the eye of the internet for clout because you know it's going to get viral and people are going to talk about it. But let's talk about you going to jail, sir, in a segment called I Knew These Niggas Was Going to Go to Jail. <laughs> Watch how many niggas go to jail off YouTube this year. Trust that I said that. Nasty work, man. Nasty work, all right? But your boy Quando Rondo was busted for drugs in Georgia, champ. All right, bust and not just busted for drugs, like he got pulled over and 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 uh they caught him with some drugs of whatever sort, champ. No champ. No, from what they're trying to paint the picture of is he was running an organization. This would make this fall under a RICO Act. And as we saw when Young Thug got arrested, um, they put out a whole list of gangs that were going to be targeted next. Everybody's still in Georgia acting like that list ain't out. Everybody's still riding around Georgia and doing all these illegal activities, which, which we'll get into with Quando Rondo because they have them all, champ. But they're doing all this stuff and they're not understanding that they're under surveillance, champ. You're under surveillance. After Young Thug got locked up, I would have not done anything else in Georgia again. But, you know, who am I to tell niggas what to do, champ? All right. So, according to booking records in Georgia, Quando was arrested Friday uh, and subsequently charged with two counts of conspiracy to violate Georgia's controlled substance law, one count of participating in criminal activity affiliated with a street gang, and one count of illegal use of a cell phone to facilitate a drug deal. My sir, you are going to jail, champ. All right. You are going to jail. Plain and simple, champ. All right? Plain and simple. Let's see what else this says. And I do have an article as well, because I want to see if the article says anything different than what I have here, right? He was, he was indicted along with 18 other individuals who are accused of conducting the drug deals between October 2022 and June 2023. So it wasn't even that many months, champ. Wasn't even... I love it. November, December, January, February, March, April, May, about eight months of investigation, Chant. And they already got you. Prosecutors claim the ABG rapper instructed another defendant to negotiate weed prices and then travel to Macon, Georgia to pay the supplier. All right. Like I said, these guys is running up the bag on music, Champ. Or maybe they're not making enough money from music as they putting off. So they put in their music into the street life, whether it be moving weight or crime or burners, toast, don't matter, champ. And this is what the government feels like and the state feels like is going on and they're bringing it into it, champ. All right. It's going to be no more rappers in Georgia soon, champ. It's going to be a whole influx of new rappers. In Georgia, champ. All right. Then this right here, boom. It says, according to online records, Quando is currently locked up in the Catham or Chatham County Jail. He clearly sensed the immediate doom because he tweeted out to his family members shortly before going in. That's crazy. You knew it was coming, didn't you, champ? You knew they were on your heels. We reached out to his record label to see if they had any further comment on the matter. Nothing but radio silence. So far, right? So, like I said, Quando, you done did yourself a disservice, champ. You done did yourself a great disservice by trying to move around like you dudes, because I, I got to stop saying the N-word so much, champ, so they can fully monetize me. 
Stop moving around like a uh, uh, Scarface champ. Stop moving around like, like, bro, come on, dog. Come on. What are we doing? All right? And this is what this article says from TMZ, man. All right? Salute to TMZ and all that for uh, the article. Quando Rondo was starting his Father's Day weekend behind bars. His NBA young boy, never broke again artist, was locked up on drug charges in Georgia. According to Booking Records, this is what I just read. Uh, Quando Rondo was, a, was arrested Friday and subsequently charged with two counts of conspiracy to violate Georgia's controlled substance law, one count of participating in criminal activity affiliated with a street gang, and one count of illegal use of a cell phone to facilitate a street gang. Yeah, this, 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 is, this is crazy, son. This is crazy, all right? But yeah, um, like I said, we're going to continue to keep seeing these things happen because these guys are getting clout off of moving such ways. And in these tweets, before he was arrested, he says, I love you, Paris, Italy, Kaya, my mama, Tease, my grandma, Fran Frida, I'll be back. It's us forever, no matter what. Nobody told you, sir. And this is what I was talking about last night, man. This is what I was talking about last night when I was ethering Boosie. You niggas think about your kids after the fact. Everybody want to think about their moms and their daughter and their sister and their granny and their pops and their step pops and their dog, their fish, their cousins. They want to think about all this stuff after the fact. Now, Somebody told me earlier that I move off clout. And I was very taken back by that because if anything, I move off of morale, champ. All right. I move off of morale, champ. I move off of off of letting you know exactly what it is. So maybe hopefully I can change somebody else's life. Right? So I move off of morality, champ. Think about your kids, think about your granny. Think about Kaya. Think about your moms, Frida. Think about all of them before you make that call of making Georgia, which they have you on the phone doing, uh, before you make that drop, champ. Think about your parents. Think about your friends and family before you make that drop. And it's for all the youngins out there, champ, because, I, bro, y'all be moving wild. But to the celebrities, to the rappers, Y'all get what y'all deserve, champ. It's no way in hell you're facilitating drug deals. And I seen one article that said that he was actually telling son to lower the prices. And he was trying to... Now I'm saying, like, you setting up shop, champ. You setting up shop. Why? Right? Why, bro? You already got your money from rap, allegedly. And if you're not, then stop fronting like you are, champ, because guess what? Which we'll get into in the Boosie situation, the police is always watching, all right? The police is always watching. The police is always watching, especially y'all dudes with millions and millions of subs. The police is always watching, champ. I keep it a hundred with you. The police is watching all the time because why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they watch your Instagram live? Why wouldn't they watch you? Why wouldn't they listen to what you're saying? Why wouldn't they uh, 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 get phone conversations and stuff like this? Why wouldn't they, champ? All right? Why wouldn't they? Y'all got to be careful of what y'all doing out here in these streets, bro.